In the last video tutorial, I showed you how to create a database and how to create a user to administer that database. In this video tutorial, we're going to log into that database as that user and create a table. So here we are logged in. Let's show the databases to get our bearing straight. And here it is, MyTestDB. That's the database I want to use. And I have switched databases. So the table I'm going to create is going to be called Student. And it's going to have a student ID, a first name, a last name, uh, the student's age, and the student's GPA. So, the first column will be ID, and this is also going to be my primary key. This is going to be set up to be an integer, and I'm going to specify not null. This means that I have to provide a value uh, uh, when I add a row to the column, uh, to the table. If I don't provide uh, an ID, then I'm going to set my auto increment flag to catch that. And what auto increment will do is find the last student who was entered to the table, find out what their ID was, and then increment that by one for the student's ID. So in other words, if the last student's ID was 100, then when I enter a student's, uh, if I enter an, another student's information in, without an ID explicitly given, this next one will be 101. first name. This is going to be a variable character string that will have up to 30 characters and this can be null. Last name will be a variable character string up to 30 characters and this can also be null. The student's age is going to be an integer, not null. In other words, I'm going to require the student's age be given as their information is entered into the database. And GPA which is going to be a double and I will allow for three digits with two digits of precision behind the decimal place. And I'll set my primary key to be the ID. And that's it. There, there's my table. So let's show tables. And here's my student table. And let's describe the table, or rather ask MySQL to describe the table for us. And here we have the field or column name, ID, first name, last name, age, GPA, the type of data stored in those columns, an integer, a variable character string, a variable character string, an integer, and a double. Uh, here is where the variable can be null or not null. Is it a primary key or a foreign key or not a key at all? What the default value may be. An extra is um, for other key uh, 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 modifiers such as auto increment. So this is how you create a table, a table using SQL.